in a in hadith it says that Allah will say to them, come closer. He will say, Abdi ubnu minni. My servant, come closer to me. There are some special servants who Allah will say to them, ubnu minni, come closer to me. He, that, that servant keeps coming closer and closer and closer until it's finally... It's working Allah again. Covers How about him. that? Covers him. And there is between him and Allah a veil, a different type of veil. No angel can hear or see. Only between him and Allah. Abel. No translator between them. And he hears, Allah SWT speaks to them. In a speech, Allah's speech, we know that Allah SWT has, has a speech. He told us this in the hadith and in the ayat. He speaks, he has a speech, but we don't know what this speech is like. Laysa kamithnihi shayt wa huwa samiyu al basir. There is nothing like him. And he hears and sees all things. Just like he says he hears and sees, he <coughs> speaks, but how does he see? How does he hear? Not like us. In a manner that befits him, he knows, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We accept it as it is without any additional deletion or interpretation. I'll just leave it as it is without any explanation to it. But Allah speaks and the people hear him and they, they know what Allah is saying. And maybe if we have time on the read a hadith for you, a bit more about that, if need be. And Allah says to him, Abdi, look at Stay your Stay off that pillow. And he sees, sins. Stay. Allah says to him, didn't you know that you did this sin? How you doing, eh, boy? Didn't you know this day will come? Didn't you know that today I will come? How you doing, boy? You have a yet? Have ya? How did you get over there, look? Get ya. Get back in there. Next page. He sees another thing. Worse than the other one. Same thing happens. Then he looks now at worse sins. And sin keeps growing. And this poor believer Get is off my this. pillow. Don't buy another toothbrush until you see what this one can do for you. Using it only takes 30 seconds for a professional result. Hey, my Lord. Get in, in the end he says, boss. So when he is certain that he's going to end up in hellfire, Allah says to him, Abdi, and he kept what? it a secret in the fall of He says, I said, why did you keep it a secret? He says, because I was ashamed of my sin, my Lord. He says, Don't you see I kept it a secret in the former life? I didn't excuse you. And that was kind of my <laughs> Gotta watch where I'm stepping, it's a bit jizzy in the hallway. Get out of it. Get out of it. Well, I was dunking in my dinner, in my coffee last night. 
not bad. Only thing I ate yesterday anyway. Oops, that one go. One, two. One, two. Come out. a bit slimy now to pick up these ones for honk stuff. There you go buddy. Got them? That's it. You pop that. Slimy, slimy dog. Right. Can you wait till dinner now? Now you've had a little snack to keep your energy up. Go on, you crack on, Marnie Moo. Good boy. Good boy. Look, I can still see Sweeties. Ugh. I can still see Sweeties, look. Look, what's that? That's it, you missed one each. There you go. Let me lift the barrier up a little bit. Got it? There you go, girl. That stops you getting in the front room. That's messy enough in there at the moment, isn't it? Ah, dear. <sighs> Nearly fell over. Trying to keep out the... Dodges. <sighs> oh, motherfucker, that's right behind my kneecap. Will begin with <sighs> that's just to stop your head going on that spike. No, you're not coming in here, Jizzy. That's to stop anyone sticking their head out the hole. Because someone kicked it. Also... And made it dangerous for the dogs, but let's just move this one over. Move, move. I can't get in the kitchen. Go on, knock yourself out, Marnie. Smash that Abbey. And the rest of the Ummah, the rest of the nations of the world, will open and pave the way. Want my food first? <laughs> ah dear. Ah dear. Good morning, people. Ah dear. Ah 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 ah. Watch ya, Hulkster. Oh, he's a happy boy this morning. What are you doing? Bunch over. Get your cheesy dick off me. You're wiping your dairy lee on the quilt, are ya? You little monster, you. Go on. Move. <coughs> Move it. Good boy. Get, 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 get. It's nearly smelly old tripe time, isn't it? Is it? Is it meat weekend, is it? Is it? Is it? Ah, are you a hungry boy, are you? Are you all excited now? Come on, move it. Move it. Move over that way. There's a good boy. Have we just got up, have we? Are we just starting to have fun? Oh, we boy. Mm. What about you, Lola? Hey, are you hungry enough to fucking eat a dog? Are you? 
No, of course you're not. Right, Hulk's to lay down. Good boy. Lay down. Load up, up. Good girl. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. You're not dangerously out of control, are you? No. You're a good girl, aren't you? Just protecting your daughter, weren't you? Hey, there you go. So what do we say to uh, these silly laws that the corrupt keep spouting out like fucking lies and corruption? That's what we say to that. That's what we say to that, ain't it, girl? Ah, oh, now what do you say to that, dogs, <laughs> bitches? What do you say to that? Yeah, your tail's still going to one side, isn't it, Willow? Go on, you blow that abbey apart. Go on, get up it like a mammoth penis. Go on, boy. Friggin' in the friggin'. Oh dear, I got a Facebook. Um, I don't know if it was Zuckerberg or whether it was AI. Right? But I carried on regardless. Because I was having fun. Let's just have a look at that, shall we? Just so you can see. Because it was funny. So I followed it up straight away. Just going to show you, right? So I followed it up straight away. With a music video. Just to emphasise the point and then uh, put another comment up straight afterwards. Right, just to uh, say silly AI. Right. Oh, they're not showing the alert this time. Oh dear. I thought better of it because I was laughing at them and so was the whole world. <laughs> Let's see what the offending post was, shall we? Let's go on my profile and have a look. Because it was bloke humour. Let's see what they was a bit worried about. Because I was creating the picture, wasn't I, today? Same as I usually do. And they still ain't got it. Me commenting while I'm watching the Katie's arms, right? That was. Let's go back before that, though, because uh, Facebook was uh, trying to censor me, old Zuckerberg, old hook nose. <coughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that, should I? In a Monty Python style humour. So I'm just showing you. Getting nearer. Let's have a look. Right. Oh. That was the offending post, and it's still up there. Because I did it that way, didn't I? As well, just to emphasise the point, it was bloke humour. See?
I used a sub language to beat the AI. Because music means many different things to many different people, does it not? So I'm clearly explaining the bloke humour. Right. Right. You don't need to see any more than that, do you? Oh, go on then, have a look at my son with his little puppy. And my grandchildren. And my friend in Canada. Good old Lindsay. On the east coast of Canada there. Last time I looked, she had a, had a flag painted on her front door as well. Last time I looked, don't know if it's still the same because there's been a lot of bad weather out in Canada, are not there? Right, so now you're getting the picture, yeah? Yes, those were my two poisoned dogs. There's Marnie, there's Hulkster, there's Willow. There's Willow's mum. Watch your girly. Do you think they've got it now? Because we're still waiting on the decision from Cambridgeshire Police about that one as well, aren't we? And they want to come and check the TV licence. See if I've got an aerial in my telly. See if I watch BBC content on YouTube. Nope. We want to look in your Amazon account. Do you now? Fuck off. Why is that then? Why do you want to look at my Amazon account for uh, Amazon Prime Video? Clues in the word video doesn't say live TV, does it? Oh. So, don't need to contact them, don't need to tick any boxes, do I? Let them come, let them come, let them come. Now let's have a look, see what else we can post today. Um, let's start off with Lions TV. What you got today, Dan? Millwall Southampton depression. Ah, oh. well, let's not be depressed about it, eh? Grief's a funny thing, More isn't broadband it? Broadband switchers choose us, so get EE broadband free for three months with nothing to pay up front. Our most reliable full fiber stays fast even at peak time, so save up to one hundred. Sponsored by Regal Elevators and Lifts Consultants Limited, a company that is owned 
and operated by a Millwall fan, just like every single one of the sponsors that you can already see on the screen. If you are going to do Cheering it, on it's from it's the sidelines, just like my father taught me. the Millwall family by checking out all of our sponsors' website links in the description below. This is your preview show. Looking ahead to Saturday's home game at the den against Southampton, it is... Armed Forces Daily is expected to be a sellout despite the fact, as I film this on Thursday at 6 o'clock, I've left it as late as I can. We are still managing this following the So, all the Millwall fans at home always, in London. By taking a look at the 11, the interim boss Adam Barrett might pick. It's not so Armistice Day, is it? Okay, so it's not the 11th, is it? Too far away from the side that drew 2 2. Just saying. Last time out, I genuinely think. Why are they spreading Adam it out a bit now? Something. I've noticed that we stopped going to the touchline, working our way up the pitch. Is that a bit of fucking crap in the, in the middle of my screen? Yes, yeah, it, it is. Let's no, just wipe that off my screen that I'm looking at through the camera. It's in about us, we're going through. More, Must have been an emphysema well. globule that flew out. out. It's been a while. Could, could have killed myself there. I'm pretty sure we haven't scored from a corner for quite a while. So, yeah, look, Barrett's definitely at his state, in my opinion. <clears> and if we didn't appoint a new manager before the international break, it wouldn't really bother me. We've only got this game, of course, and then Shiver wins that way. Next up. I've got to watch the copyright thing, haven't I? You know what I mean? There's Yami doing this morning. That's the one I watched last night. I shared it over to my Facebook. I couldn't actually interact in the live last night because um, there was some stuff going on here with the dogs. That needed my full attention. Size and height problem. Hmm. I'm just looking through the gap in the in the door here. Are you giving it some fancy footwork, are you, Marnie? She's still doing that little dance, is she? I can see the shadow on the floor there. Is her tail still to one side? Got a bit quiet out there, isn't it? Oh. Sounds like the neighbours just going out or something like that. That was the sound of his door being shut. He's definitely not hanging washing out in this stuff, is he? So, probably going out. Don't need to turn the camera on, do I? Ain't been on all night. I had a lovely night's sleep. When I finally got to sleep. You're having a wash, are you? Holes. Get, get, get off. There's a good boy. Yeah. Da, 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 da. This is the smaller of the two twins. This is young Hulkster. He got the uh, smaller end of the goodies from his mum. And Marnie's twice his size. Hmm. Slightly different colour to Hulkster, but they both came out the same sack. Like I was told. Twins. Quite a rare thing, isn't it? For dogs. So, there's something special here, haven't I? Look at the way he's laying down with that dangerous, dangerous. Protective mother. <laughs> Is she dangerous, Hulkster? Is she? Is she? No, she's not. Is she? She's lovely, isn't she? 
Just protecting her daughter like she should do. Wow, there's still footwork I can hear going on out in the hallway, so all's good still there. Oh dear. Do I need to take her for a walk, do I? Go and see a man about a dog. Because as far as I know, he ain't locked yet. But he's telling us, all systems go time. So I've got to go and find something that might be the right height. Seeing as the people that um, are the dog's representatives who uh, brought Lola and uh, Willow here, aren't allowed out to sort it out. Because what I said was, well, you need to come and have a look so I can do the okay for you to tell the dog's owners. Will you stop clawing me up the arm, please? Wait. So, at some point, The representative has got to come here, go and check out the dog, then get the okay if it's the right size and match, until then Is she laying down? Is she having a rest? Because she's getting a bit frustrated now, Marnie. Yep, she's on a clock. Times are ticking. So we've got to do this properly, haven't we? Hmm. As far as I know, he ain't locked yet. And the boys were separated from the girls last night so I could get a uh, good night's sleep without having one dog Snoring in my ear all there. Hey Lola. Like a little angel on my shoulder. And the Hulkster fidgeting about. Because he can smell everything in the air. <laughs> oh dear. You know what I'm saying now, don't you? Tiptoe through the jizz marks. <laughs> Oh, and they can complain about the state of the garden because I'm having sciatic nerve issue and knee issues. So if Tiny Tim wants to come over the back fence now and judge me for it, he can uh, hop over the fence with his one leg and um, tiptoe through the dog shit with me. But um. Hey, Tiny Tim. Off you hoppity hoppity fuck. Good boy, Hulkster. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. It's what you do to child abusers, isn't it? Hulk smash on site. <laughs> Only bloke humour, remember? Not directing nothing, is it? Not harassing and bullying, is it? It's bloke humour. Because I did get set up and put in prison, didn't I, after all? So, there's a bit of building site humour in there now. Bit of prison humour in there now. Oh dear. Not going well, is it? <laughs> oh 
there. What we got different on YouTube now? I'll feel like some music. Let's have a look what's on here. What are they offering this morning? Is it still morning? No, it's nearly... Well, it's on its way to 1 o'clock, 12.37. What we got here? Oh, God. Why do they always show that same protester's face? With the rainbow thing. Just saying. Seems to pop up everywhere, that face. Multiple incoming CMEs. NASA model confirms... What was that? Let's move off of that. NASA model confirms direct hit at Earth in two to three days. Oh. That's a bit like the uh, coming of hellfire thing, isn't it? Oh dear. Just saying. But never a straight answer, eh? Millwall watch along. He escaped from the penitentiary to say goodbye. Oh. He? He? I hope that's not he. That looks like a woman's saggy boobs, doesn't it? Cool, gravity takes its tolls on the trannies as well then. Just same, point of observational humour. Dexter done. Why couldn't you just leave me to do my work in peace? Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? You're a killer. I catch killers. So do I. I caught you. I'm not a killer. You are. That's why you've always known what I am. That's why you have more officer-related shootings than anybody else. Only I don't fuck with you when you shoot somebody. Why couldn't you pay me the same professional courtesy? There's nothing professional about what you do. I kill when I have to, on the job. Oh, so it's okay to take a life as long as you get a paycheck for it? The city pays me to keep the law. I got this for you, Sergeant. My code requires a higher standard of proof than your city's laws. At zero cost for the taxpayer, you ask me, I'm a bargain. That's enough bullshit, Morgan. Let's get this over with. Why couldn't you just leave me to do my work in peace? Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? You're a killer. I catch killers. So do I. I caught you. Why couldn't you just leave me to do my work in peace? Why'd you have to go and ruin everything? It's Friday the 3rd of November. Now, there's no question that a lot of people died in care homes around the world that should not have died. And this started to come up when we looked at the, uh, the British uh, government's uh, COVID inquiry. And I got some really quite moving comments from you about this. And this seems to be an international problem that a lot of people in care homes died who should not have died. 
Sometimes they weren't yes. given treatments that they should have been given. Other My father died as well, didn't he, because of all that stupid fucking nonsense. That COVID looked a lot more deadly than it actually turned out to be because a lot of the people that apparently died of COVID. Now, people Lack of care. COVID, but some of those people, shall we say, were... Um, helped along their way uh, stay at home this is just quite incredible because we're talking about human lives here and they Keep all matter family away we from we have an idea that some people are more important than others some people are little brainwashed more robots more life than others that is a very slippery slope and I don't even want to think about that level of dystopian fascist future scare a man to death that raises the potential of Anyway, let us stick to what we've uh, Force him we've heard here to be a apart year. from his loved ones. Uh, talking about deaths in care rooms. Now, this is the video here. Check it out. There the ones is. that would have been by uh, his side uh, all the you time. Want to find out who they are, you can, you can look through the comments. They are there, but I've just abbreviated them for a confidentiality, really. Uh, we had the same or even worse situation in Swedish care homes where they even refused oxygen to vulnerable elderly having problems breathing. Now, um, oxygen is a very safe therapeutic for most people. Um, okay, you've got to be careful when people have uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. But oxygen is life-saving. And uh, to withhold that is... is uh, well, he sliced his chin a bit, hasn't he? People will die. It is that simple. Having his shit and shower shave in the morning. Oxygen levels. Uh, th there's a particular individual named here... Must have lost his focus for a bit while he was trying to create stuff uh, online. Fact, but... Uh, Some it must have caught his mind and he thought, ah, a, right, uh, yeah, I've got to do that. Possibly dangerous procedure to be trusted to care at home nurses. Um, um, well, let me tell you, it's also dangerous to be hypoxic because that kills you. Now, oh, common um, sense. There seems to be this overcompensation in Sweden at the start of the pandemic uh, that, that they were worried about hospitals being overwhelmed, as we were in other places, and people weren't admitted to hospital who should have been, because at least in hospital, while well, they might not have been given anything that actually cured the, the COVID or helped with the COVID, they could have been given... COVID is bullshit! Oh, fucking um, hell, I've got Tourette's. Without going into the debate about other therapeutics. So th these are the confirmed deaths here in Sweden, and we see that a lot of these deaths in the first part of the pandemic... So this, this, this is way back in early 2020, this high peak here. Uh, quite a few of these deaths... Oh, it's working, say, now, still. Were, uh, ...unnecessary, I'm sure. But as we'll see in a minute, the this is this is this is eight uh, this is de eight deaths per minute. How about per that? Per. We'll see in the UK it was way higher than that. So whatever. Oh, well, I fancy a ciggy. It was probably worse. In Let's the put UK. me vape over there. Uh, C says my um, ninety-four-year-old nan was hospitalised. She also tested positive, but wasn't too poorly. Oh and dear. I'm this for many, many people. Just think. People with COVID. I'm being okay. kept in this also, position in the Even UK the by a backward country. There is a greater risk, but a lot of instead of utilising my uh, knowledge from through life, um, I, I could be a successful businessman in Canada, couldn't I? Growing. Producing. So they separated Processing. Her end of life plan. Herb. It seems a lot of people were put on end of life plans because they tested positive for COVID, not because they were terminally ill. Without being it's deemed a, huge scandal a criminal for it. Now. Um, put on an end of life plan, right? Oh. Um, does this, All them lost taxes, UK. Don't you look stupid she died now? Several days later, I was allowed to visit at the end. She was unconscious, breathing fine, ironically, uh, from a respiratory virus. <coughs> um, but with no intervention, she was allowed to dehydrate to death. She didn't die of COVID, she died of a policy of euthanasia in the view of C. Oh, in the view of, of C, eh? As she believed right. they took away your control and were places to die. I tried to persuade her. That's the last they, of the uh, king skins. You and make you in the end, very sadly, she was right. So, not only do we have the tragedy that C suffered here, we've got the guilt that C is feeling. Oh, is C guilty? 
I'm shocked and disillusioned. I'm by feeling the too. guilt. Um, Poor Charmaine. Oops. Shh, 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 shh. This is from the COVID it's inquiry. Me to Rex. Scotland now. And this is a report from the Telegraph from the. Uh, but from this, uh, you can check it all out at this uh, this site here. I always put the links in as far Bomber as possible. Bomber pub. Burn a house. So, so this is Sheila McCall, King's councillor, senior uh, lawyer, uh, representing bereaved relatives. She says this to the inquiry, relatives have been neglected and left to starve. <laughs> how, how can this be in care facilities? People not giving fluids and food. How, how can this be? I spent, I spent my life te teaching people to look after the sick. And... Uh, Oh, and I was just going to take away the water in prison, wasn't I, to finish off the hunger strike. Let me just roll this because I need two hands to roll it. Arthritic knuckles and all that. Family advocates. Phone calls went unanswered for days, sometimes weeks. But you leave me in pain, suffering. Relatives, UK, according to the King's Council, until I get so sick of it, I destroy the place to escape it. Families told relatives they were uh, they, they were fine, and then I just and walk away, never they looking back. People deteriorate so so rapidly. So At this sorry ass cunt tree. Why is that? Relatives reported a significant deterioration of their loved ones' physical and mental health. Uh, in the meantime, with COVID. I'm loving and supporting my family with COVID. up and yet most of here, were registered as COVID well COVID. away from Kent and London. Some suspect that their loved ones were suffering from neglect, dehydration and starvation. The residents that uh, so, have been neglected and left to starve, that families are not That far. known. I mean, they're not sure... They were told the truth. This is direct again. Fuck you very much. This council on the Scottish Code of Inquiry. Relatives didn't think they were told the truth about their relatives' cause of death. That the usual processes of certification of death were departed from. Why would you do that? We oh dear. That the the lighter always runs out of energy when I want to light a cigarette, doesn't it? Let's give it a moment of silence for the haters. Notices were in place. Now, I've worked in healthcare for well over 40 years. Um, if people have a cardiac or respiratory arrest, we let's have get to resuscitate. A moment of silence for the haters, remember? Very specific do not attempt resuscitation order in place, which is sometimes appropriate. But here we have this uh, King. This King's oh, is it not Armistice Day yet? Um, that they Teach a person to hate and they end up killing. People would not oh. If there's no order in place, school, must be army, to church, corporation deal. Really, what, what has happened here? This is Talk from young. So now, that's how they mess up in kids' the, um, heads. In Sweden, in, we can see Crass. in the UK, it was... What's uh, right with their lyrics then? So at the peaks of similar shape... So after I left school and re-educated myself through music lyrics, I came across the truth, didn't I? After they'd already tried to get me in the army in school. So what proportion of these deaths we wonder were... Luckily my criminal record saved me from that torment. ...caused by lack of basic interventions that any child... Right. Person needs fluid and uh, nutrition. And I know okay. many people are. I'm going to uh, lead people to listen to this because we already that, know what happened anyway. We already know the truth about it. So, uh, yeah. So, in the words of, <laughs> here we go, look, they don't really like it when you question it out. Let's have a laugh, right? While I'm waiting to light my cigarette and put a fire under their arses. 
because Babylon's burning with anxiety now, isn't it? Just saying. It's rain season, isn't it? Don't buy another toothbrush until you see what this <sighs> one can do for you. Using toothbrush, dentist, blah, 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 blah. We ain't got no dental care in this country anymore. They ain't got none in Canada either, so you'd have to do something to make your money, wouldn't you? Which, as Garvey said, has really rallied in the past few days with sheer weasel screaming about a ceasefire in a country 3,000 miles away from the conflict itself. That could dumb as motherfucker to death leave. Yeah, there's various examples of, but for today, we'll use Labour MP Nadia Williams' post that I questioned yesterday and set off every I support the... That's enough time for the haters. As any of you knows me will remember, I do love salty bitches, and this post groups want a ceasefire, which you might notice includes the pro immigration fuck pigs, doctors without borders. But really, her post itself is not that important because it was me pointing out the obvious relating to her claims that these wet wipes didn't like. You probably don't wet think wipes. very nice. <laughs> in it, I simply shout on the idea that 76% of people in the UK support a ceasefire because anyone with half a brain cell knows 99% of the public don't care about anything outside their own bloody lives. This naturally pissed off the idiots who are desperate to claim the entire country supports them and to prove their point, they actually quoted YouGov. <laughs> Yeah, a bunch of Ukraine flag-waving lefties who hate the Tories tried to use the fact that a Tory created YouGov as a way to give it credibility. This naturally made me roll over with laughter because, as we know, YouGov are about as reliable when it comes to polls as Diane Abbott is with basic bloody maths. <laughs> Plus, and probably more importantly, polls are not there to convey public opinion, are they? They're done to shape it, as I've said, what, hundred times before? They do not and likely never will be a real reflection on what the country thinks because, as you know, they only ask what a couple of thousand people. I mean, in this case, for instance, they asked 2,200 and decided that they speak for 76% of 72 million. So the Muslims that fought for the empire in India, Second World War. Because we literally have idiots quoting you got polls of gospel, which is like saying They've got a right to be there on Armistice Day as well, haven't they? Saying enough of the killing. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. Both statements are stand up comedy material at its very best because we know neither can be true. Shit trusting either with the truth is like taking medical advice from a melted bloody Chucky doll. Uh, uh. We, we, we need to get everybody jabbed. There should be no job, no jab, no job, no travel. If you've not had the jab, but we need to stop. Oh, this is the around. joke that this keeps on giving, in it? Old pound shop Rod Stewart. Pandemic. She's off, is she? <laughs> off, you fucker, too, then. Oh, dear. All happy dogs, are you? He's busy licking out there. The last Beatles song is here, is it? Iceland Prime for Eruption? Oh.
<laughs> Hate breed. Destroy everything. Four and six year old. She's a tidy one, this salt. <laughs> Eats well too. From her videos. <laughs> no idea why. <coughs> <laughs> so I was just laughing at the uh, beaver or the black undercrackers. She got caught unaware there, didn't she? Just saying. Must be the boyfriend filming the date night. In a bloke humour fashion. Enjoy the ride, eh? <laughs> Made his head spin though, didn't it? Good job I kept the video sound off of that one. Hope you had a good date night, dear. Fun watching your videos. Oh dear. Yemen launched ballistic missiles on Israel. Let's have a listen. Let's get the adverts off first. So I don't have to listen to the adverts. Down drones in a similar strike against a Yemeni organization sponsored by Iran in retaliation for the Hamas conflict. <sighs> there is no threat or harm to civilians. Welcome everyone. In today's video, we're going to tell you Yemen launched ballistic missiles on Israel. In the first operational application of the long range system, well, he's getting a bonfire night, isn't it? The announced on Tuesday that the Arrow Air Defense System successfully intercepted a surface to surface missile fired from the Red Sea area toward Israel. But before we proceed the further video, what the Red Sea, where they crossed the water and the deluge came down on the rest. Oh. The ballistic missile was thought to have been fired against the southern city of Ilawit by the Houthis in Yemen, who are supported by Iran. Air Force systems followed the missile's trajectory and intercepted it at the most optimal operational moment and location, according to a statement from the Israel Defense Forces. Images captured the Aero missile smoke path, and locals claimed to have heard a loud explosion. According to the IDF, fighter jets shot down two more hostile targets in the early morning 
that were reportedly drones flying over the Red Sea. So missiles Every being fired at fireworks. Well, that the makes ADF financial sense, doesn't it? Territory was found. I thought they were supposed to be good at money management. Yemenis assemble for prayers in Sanaa, the capital city under Houthi rule, with some of them carrying the Palestinian flag. But is the word stated that the aerial attack, which included drones and ballistic and cruise missiles, was executed out of a sense of religious moral humanitarian and national responsibility for the Gaza population, given the fragility of the Arab world and the cooperation... Don't worry, it's just a family guy joke. The demands of the Yemeni people were the driving force behind the Not a political the statement. Syria declared that this was the group's third attack on Israel since the war's beginning and promised to launch more missile and drone strikes on Israel. The Prime Minister of the Houthi government, Abdelaziz bin Abdul, Declared earlier on What's that saying? They don't like it up on Captain Mannering. Along with Hamas, which is also supported by Tehran. The Houthis, who took over the capital of Yemen in 2014. Oh dear, them, them old Jewish ladies are getting a bit worried. Of resistance against Israel. They are waging war against Israel using words and drones. He continued. After the missile attack. The IDF declared early on Wednesday morning Never mind, I... air defense forces oh, dear. an aerial danger. That was Let's go and refill the military Put the third scoop in now. Of Israeli land was recognized and that there was no danger to <sighs> Although they did not say what was intercepted, the declaration was... How you doing, Jizzy? How you doing, Jezebel? <laughs> I call them all sorts of names. Oh, that's gone a bit cold in here. Can feel the hit the cold. Let's have a look quickly. Come on, out my way. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, that's why the temperature's dipped. <laughs> Must be a pressure drop. Where are you going, Marnie Moo? Don't you dare piss in this kitchen. Just the one scoop in it. Get off. What are you sniffing me fingers for, you dirty bastard? They ain't been nearer. That's coffee. That's why you sneeze. Where do you think you're going? Get up there. Get up on the bed. Get up on the bed. Get up on the bed. I'm just letting Humpty and Dumpty out there in the garden. So, Victory to Islam is supported by Iran. Oh, silly Zuckerberg. And it's silly, silly AI. Oh, oh goosebumps going up my arms there. Oh. Let's go and uh, go on, baby. Come on, Willow. Out you go. Oh, that's 
There you go, baby. She's saying, can I have a piss and a shit in peace or not? Well, there's the answer to that, isn't it? Marnie, come out. Come here. Ah. In here. Go on, girl. Off you go. Go and have your piss and shit in peace. Good girl. Move, move, move. So, got to go and see a man about the ball. At some point, haven't we? Get on my bed. Stay off my pillow. Lola, out. Lola. Lola, out. Go on, get out of it. After word got out about what he'd made, investors quickly lined up. Ah! He was told by his professor that he would go down in history, but when a heating company approached offering millions... Go on, out you two girls go. It was then he realised how big an impact his device had. Wondering the top engineers in this field, they perfected the prototype and ready it for mass production. Go on, out you go. Out you go. Out. Out. Go on. Go and teach your daughter. Move. Out. Good girls. It's only an advert playing at the moment. Neighbours had her bush trimmed as well, ain't she ready? Ah, <sighs> dear. Yeah, that one. It's only spitting girls, isn't it? Good girl. Probably getting a bit fruity with her cobwebs over there, isn't she? If I let Marnie and uh, Willow out together. She likes a bit of dog fighting, trying to pit dogs that she brings into her garden against my dogs, this side of the fence. With Angel, Angel's daughter, Willow, uh, sorry, Angel's daughter, Roxy, she decided to bring a male German Shepherd right to the fence. Right, with its handler, probably a policeman. But we won't go into specifics, eh, Bob? Come on in, girl. You all done? Are you all done, girly? Come on in, in you go. Let's just sort this out properly. Move. Marnie, out. Marnie, out. Out. Girls down the hallway. Hulk stop. Out. Yes, he can jump straight out of a window. Boys, out. That's what the barriers are for. It's an old cot that we're utilising for that. Oh, I've got a sciatic nerve issue going on. Excuse me, I've got to go.
funny little jazzy. I'm trying to shag your mother, you horny little. Ah, back up, boys. Load up in there. Before your mother fights you on the air. Hulk stuck in. Hulk stuck in. Marnie, wait right there. You just got growled out by a widow, didn't you? Get in there. Go on, Marnie. You little Jezebel, you. Getting a desperate dog mode, are you, Marnie Moo? Freaking in the rigging. Because there's fuck all else to do. Nearly bonfire night. And that's why there should be. Let's just get this out of the way. I'm getting dirty feet now. As well as jizzy feet. That's why. Right. <laughs> 